Hello everybody, my name's Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So we're in the shade house today at the Tangle. I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite plants. They're called bromeliads. It's something that you can grow no matter whether you're in Florida or you're north of Florida. It's something that you can take in during the winter. You know what? The Florida sun is shining. The island breeze is blowing. It's time you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun. So what's a bromeliad? Well, you already probably know a couple of them already. One would be Spanish moss and the other is pineapple. Now, Bromeliads are a rather large family. They are plants of the New World tropics and subtropics. That's the only place that they grow in the wild. But they have been hybridized an awful lot, and they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and colors. Take a look at this. Isn't this pretty? This is one of the hybrids that I have done in the past. This one may even get registered. Who knows? Now, you can grow bromeliads no matter where you are. I can grow them out here in the tangle because I'm in the subtropics. You can grow them inside mounted on wood. Now, we're not going to do that today, but later on in another vlog, I'm going to show you how you can install them on wood and take them inside during the winter and then hang them outside. So what makes bromeliads so much fun to grow no matter where you are is that they come in so many different shapes and sizes and colors. You can get big ones like this. This is called an odorata. As you can see, it's pretty big. This gets even bigger. It's a medium size, like this Neo Regilia Namaskar. Don't you love the color on this thing? It's really, really cool. And they even come smaller. Now, most bromeliads propagate themselves vegetatively by sending out offsets. This is an offset right here. It's called a pup. It's a lot easier to say anyway, isn't it? So they send out these pups. Now, sometimes they send out pups like you see here on stolons, and stolons are above ground rhizomes. That makes this plant right here very easy to attach to a tree, and you can see the root systems on the bottom here, and it will attach to a tree. Now, it doesn't take anything from the tree. What it does is use it as a place to climb. It will grow straight up and get water into the cup whenever either you water it or it rains. So for those of you up north, bromeliads can be taken inside during the winter. They can be grown as house plants. You don't have to worry about humidity so much because, again, you're going to have water in the central tank of the plant. They will need to have adequate light so they maintain their color, but past that point, they are probably one of the easiest house plants that you can grow. So if you live up north and you don't live in Florida, you can grow this plant inside during the winter. It will get its needs met by again filling water into the cup and then you can take it outside during the summer to enjoy it out on your deck. Now as you can see, bromeliads come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. Hope the sun doesn't bleach some of this stuff out because they are absolutely spectacular. Now some of what you're seeing right in here are hybrids that I produced about a year ago. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about bromeliads. We're going to have more information and further blogs as we go along. So I hope you'll hit the like button down below and you'll share us with your friends. You know, no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I hope you get growing and have some fun. See you next time.